It was everything for this town. It created this town. When it comes to pottery, no one knows it better than East Liverpool, and no one knows more about it than Susan Weaver. Weaver is the director of the Museum of Ceramics. At one point, East Liverpool was a single industry city. It was home to about 200 potteries, and at the turn of the century, 50% of American dinnerware was being produced here. James Bennett was our first potter. Uh, well, we attribute that to him. There were other potters in the area, but he was the first commercial potter. And it was his pottery. He opened it, saw he was going to do well, sent to England for his three brothers. That just started that flow of Staffordshire potters into this area. It began in the 1840s and started to decline in the 1930s. But East Liverpool's robust pottery industry earned it the names Crockery City and the City of Hills and Kills. And why do you think it's important that people know about the history of where they come from? Yeah, I, I think um, I think that the sense of pride when they see the most some of the most beautiful artwork in terms of ceramic artwork came from this area. Uh, when they, some people don't realize uh, how significant East Liverpool was. And, uh, you know, dinnerware was the mainstay, but in the art pottery, such as lotusware, uh, this stuff is known all over the world. And, and I think some of the young people don't realize that they have that legacy here. Below you can read about where the pottery industry in the area is currently. In East Liverpool for WKBN 27 First News, I'm Brandon Jaycees.